Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're on S Motorsports. Today, we're gonna be putting the Camaro on corn. Like I said guys, today we're gonna be filling up the Camaro on E85. So if you didn't catch the last video, which I, if you haven't, I'll put it up in the corner here. Go check it out. We put the E85 or the flex fuel sensor in the Camaro, got it all buttoned up. And now we're gonna go fill it up on E85 and see if I get my reactions to see if I can tell if there's a quite a bit more power or not. So I'm really curious to see what it feels like and uh, get the tune dialed in. So um, for a quick overview, we got the custom E85 or flex fuel sensor installed. We ended up going with uh, the DIY uh, harness here that ties into the EVAP um, solenoid. And we got custom fittings here, custom uh, PTFE lines, so we're E85 compatible. And we had a few leaks on that fitting, but we got that taken care of, so I think we're good to go. So let's get the cold start in and get going and get some of that corn fuel. Let's get that cold start. guys so we're driving we got 32 miles to go on this tank getting it nice and empty so when we put the e85 in uh, we get a good mixture right off the bat which I got my laptop obviously we're gonna hook that up and so we can read the ethanol content as the wideband gauge that I have you know doesn't read ethanol content so uh, HP tuners is the the way that I'll be able to tell what ethanol content the sensor seen. So let's get there, get going on the E85. Pretty excited to uh, see what kind of difference it makes. Um, I think I got a pretty good tune right off the bat in there. So hopefully we don't really need any adjustments. So we'll we'll get some data logs though, uh, see what the car is doing, and uh, we'll be able to tell. So let's get to it. So we got, around my area, we got E85 basically at every gas station almost. Uh, where I'm at, we got a lot of quick trips, but they got E85 basically at most quick trips. Um, but I basically just picked one that's kind of a little bit more in town to make sure that uh, hopefully the ethanol is getting cycled a little bit more instead of uh, the one that's right next to me. Chances are that one's not getting used as much. So wanted to drive in a little bit just to make sure that try and get some some fresh stuff all right guys we're gonna get the uh, 85 going we got it right here a little scan all right we got the blue handle No, I don't want a car wash. All right, it's happening. What do we got? 308. All right, well, let's get her filled up. Probably gonna put like 12 gallons in and then we'll see what it looks like on the computer. Well, guys. Still saying 9%. I got hit with laser though, so that's that's nice. Just trying to get going back home a little bit, see if uh, see if I can get this ethanol. Suspicious airplane four tenths of a mile away. Flood Christian W. Pattern and interesting. All right, guys, we finally got some movement on the alcohol percent. Now it's climbing. We got 13%. So it's working. Woo! Had me nervous there, it was just sitting at 9%. And I was driving probably a, at least a mile and it hadn't moved, so I knew it had to work through. 
but uh, now it's it's doing something here. So yeah, we'll just keep uh, driving, mixing it around a little bit and see what we get up to. So guys, so the E content kept coming up. It came up pretty quick once it started moving and uh, we're at 70.6% right now. So I think that's basically where it's leveling off at, which is a pretty good mixture uh, with the first fill up since I probably had, you know, whatever, gallon or two left in there, probably like two gallons. So that's a pretty decent mix at that gas station. And like I said, basically every quick trip has it. Yeah, I was wrong, because the first one I went to didn't have it. Um, but there's one a couple blocks down <coughs> that did have it, so not an issue. So let's go to a spot where we can uh, do some pulls, get a first impression. I get in a pinch, I'm able to do that. 
So I'm really happy with the install so far. Um, like I said, I think it's a worthwhile adder. It seemed like it pulled really good. It'd be obviously nice. I gotta get a draggy so I can maybe do a 93, just 93, and then E85 too. I think that would be a fun comparison. So stay tuned. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks for joining in, and we'll catch you in the next one.